Every spring, the male alligators put on a spectacular mating display. They sink down in the water, so their backs are just below the surface and make really low frequency sounds. And the consequence of that is that water droplets on their back look like they're dancing. And it soon becomes a water dance-off as rival males compete by displaying to females. I've never really had any desire to be close to a bellowing alligator, but I do want to see this. And to do it, I've got to trigger a chorus of amorous alligators. To see this spectacle, Helen needs to encourage some alligators to start dancing. And to do this, she needs to replicate their infrasonic calls. So they think there's a larger male close by. And that requires speakers even bigger than a camper van. These speakers produce sounds of 19 hertz, the same deep frequency as the alligators bellow at. So let's see if they can entice a grumpy alligator to start flirting. So that's it. Those are the big infrasound speakers sending sound out over the lake here. And now we just have to wait and see if any of the alligators react. straight over there, tail up in the air, getting ready to call. There are two parts to this display. A deep bellow from their mouths. It's like hearing dinosaurs. And the water dance. Although we can't hear it, these alligators are actually producing a very low frequency hum. And this causes water droplets to bounce off their backs. For these ancient predators, this elaborate display is essential for attracting mates. But how do they make the water dance? Just using sound. Footage from our high-speed camera reveals their secret. The alligator's back is just below the surface of the water. As it begins to bellow, its entire body vibrates. And its back acts like a piston driving the surface of the water into a dramatic splashing display. It's thought that alligators have been calling like this for at least 70 million years. 